A lot of students try to remember the linear interpolation formula, but I'm going to basically make it make sense without having to memorize anything. So I'll do part A in this video and then part B and C in the next one. We want to use linear interpolation to estimate the median height of tomato plants. So firstly, the median is our middle value. Our total frequency here is 60. So our median value is going to be our 30th value. We need to know firstly, where does that sit? So let's work out our cumulative frequency. That's seven, 17 and 32. We don't need to carry on because our median sits in that category there. We can visualize how to find the median using a straight line. So we want to plot our class width of 160 and 170 and the corresponding frequencies at each of those ends. We've got 17 here and 32. So on the top, we have our cumulative frequency. On the bottom, we have our class width. Our median value is our 30th value. It's going to sit closer to 32. Let's say it's somewhere around here. And what we are trying to find is this corresponding x value of where that sits in the range of 160 to 170. You can do this by visualizing this as ratios. We can say that the distance between these two over the total distance of this entire region is equal to the distance between these two points over your total distance. So in short, 32 minus 30, which is this distance here, over our entire distance here, which is 32 minus 17, is equal to this distance here of 170 minus x all over 170 minus 160. Let's rearrange this. So we've got 2 over 15 is equal to 170 minus x over 10. If we take the 10 over, we've got 4 over 3 x rounds up to about 169. See how we calculated the ratio of this region here over the entire thing? We could have alternatively calculated the ratio of 17 to 30 over the entire thing as long as we're consistent on both sides. You don't need to memorize a formula, visualize it like a straight line and think in terms of ratios. So I hope this was helpful.